Good afternoon, friends. Today in the Word of God, we're looking at Romans chapter 5, the first verse. And St. Paul writes this, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. There's some very key words that I'd like us to look at there. The first of them, and perhaps most importantly in this verse, is that word peace. We have peace with God. Peace is something that everybody longs for to some degree. We look at the world around us and we see that in so many respects there isn't or it doesn't appear that there's a lot of peace. Or we might think about a fractured or strained relationship that we have with a neighbor or a family member or a friend and we'd like there to be peace. Well, Paul is talking about peace here, but perhaps the most important kind of peace, and that is peace with God, peace with the one who made us. And the reason that we need that peace is that, as we confess as Christian people, we are by nature sinful and unclean, that we have sin that divides us, separates us from God. Uh, the scripture would say that we were enemies with God. There was a state of war between us and the Lord who made us and loves us. And God, in his love for us, made it possible for us to experience peace with him. And as Paul points out in this verse here, it is a peace that comes to us in Christ and by faith in him. In other words, it comes to us not just by knowing that Jesus lived and died and, and rose again from the dead, that he was a real person in history, but it's a peace that comes to us through a faith in him, through a relationship in which we trust in him, trust that he loves us, trust that he has everything good in store for us, in which we trust him for everything that we need from moment to moment. And it's through this relationship that Paul explains to us that we have peace with God, that we are no longer enemies with him. And in fact, that opens up all sorts of amazing things to us. It means, for instance, that we are not only at peace and no longer in a state of war, but that we are his family members, that we are heirs of his kingdom, that heaven awaits us because of what he has done for us. And peace is also something, as Paul will explain in his letter to the Philippians, that guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So peace is one of these multifaceted gifts from the Lord, something by which we are brought into relationship with the Lord. It doesn't mean, however, that if we have peace with God, that we are uh, therefore, uh, that we have no problems in life, that, that as soon as we have peace, all of our troubles go away forever. Heaven will be like that, but in this life, to have peace with God means that we can have that peace even in the midst of the storm or the battle that we are facing. So today we thank the Lord for his wonderful gift of peace that comes to us through faith in Christ. We pray. Thank you, Lord, for this good and precious gift of peace that is made possible for us through the death and resurrection of Jesus, your Son. We trust in him, Lord, and we pray that through this gift of peace, you would guard our hearts and minds in him and in relationship with you. We ask it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless you, friends.